Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. And we are in Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Now I wanted to make a video just to talk through my idea about this game. This game actually first came out a while ago and I did own 2014 and I did make videos on that and I really enjoyed the game. But when this version of the game first came out, I didn't really see anything exciting. Um, I didn't feel excited by it. I didn't really play the game. Even when they, they added the whole trader stuff, where you can like buy cars at auction and do them up. I mean, it was a good idea. Um, but still, that wasn't enough really to get my interest. However, recently, relatively recently, they have really got my interest, and I will show you in this video why. So this video is not about the gameplay per se, it's just sh showing you why I'm really interested in the game right now. Um, I do plan in the future of making some gameplay videos. They probably won't be very popular because of the fact this game has been out a while, but I think there's some really cool stuff in here that I'd like to show you in the future. But yeah... The reason I'm I'm excited about this game now is because of this. Um, they've added a lot of official vehicles. Now, that for me makes me feel very excited. I'll show you one example. So let's load up the Bentley Bentley Continental GT Speed. So when I saw they started adding DLCs that are actually official licensed once. When I saw that, I was very impressed. When I saw they added Bentley, a real one, into the game. Look at this. I can actually work on a Bentley and it looks really nice. I mean, okay, it might not be like as good as a set of Corsa modeling, but still, oh, it lets me show a rusted version. Uh, I don't think you want to see a rusted Bentley. This is kind of what they looked like uh, in Dubai, was it? When they had that big like crash and loads of people just parked their luxury vehicles at the airport. They all kind of looked like that then, didn't they? But anyway, interesting. Um, why does it say explode? Oh, explode. <laughs> But yeah, look at this thing. I mean, this makes me excited right, to play this game. To actually work on an official licensed vehicle, that makes me feel a lot more excited. Um, and obviously, when we look at the internals, you know, maybe they aren't exactly the internals you would see, but I think they have made an effort like, to make you feel like you're actually working on a proper version of this car. So yeah, so this really does make me feel excited. The fact they have official DLC. Um, I want to show you another one. I want to show you another one. I mean, you can see that we got like a DeLorean we got a couple of Bentleys and we got three Maseratis. So, you know, oh, and we got some Mercedes up here, you know. For me, this is like so exciting. It adds so much more in the game for me personally. Okay, so let's do the DeLorean. Let's do the regular DeLorean. Regular DeLorean, if I can talk even. Here we are, whoa. So, you know, again, can you imagine working on this thing? I mean, I'm very, very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited like, to get into this part of the game. Like, yeah. So, well done, Playway, and well done, Red Dot Games, because I was not interested in this game whatsoever. And by doing all of this... My interest is just a million, million times more. I mean, look at this. Wow. This is really cool. Really cool. 
And it will be interesting because I believe right now they're working on the next version of the game. I could be wrong, but I believe the 2016 version was only on the mobile, I believe. And I believe they're now working on the 2017 version of the game. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what new things they can actually come out with with the new version of the game. Look at this thing. Wow, man. I mean, I think that the modeling actually looks pretty nice, you know? Pretty nice. So yeah, well done. That was really, that was really good. Like, really good. I don't think, you know, I didn't really expect that for such a small game, like I thought that, you know, I think that this game for a simulator game, it got fairly, fairly popular, right? But um, I didn't think that the size of the game is enough for them to get these official DLCs. They obviously had to had to pay a fair bit of money for that, and they are not like half ass ones. Like that, they have like a Mercedes one and a, a Bentley one. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm so excited about this man. Okay, so let's last thing I'm going to do is show a rusted one. Oh no, it's all rusty. Oh no. Someone didn't look after their car. Yeah. To be fair, the rusted effect is not great, but whatever. I've got a DeLorean. I can work on a DeLorean. Get in. I can't wait. So, I would love to know what you guys think of this. It kind of makes me wonder if there's anyone else that was in the same situation as me, because... I really was not interested, and when I saw, like, I can't remember which one they brought out first. I think it was the Mercedes one. I was like, ooh, that's good. And then, but with only one of them, I was like, oh, is that enough? You know, is that really enough like, for me to get the whole game and everything else? But then they brought out another one, and another one. Then they have three official really nice DLCs. I was like, yeah, that's it. I have to get it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and as always, I will see you in the next one.